KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everyone. I'm KX Storm Team member Carolyn Grisky. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Williston right now. Seeing that that excuse me that the temperature is 64 degrees and wind out of the east at 15 miles an hour. In Minot right now we're seeing 58 degrees and wind out of the east northeast at 5 miles an hour. So our temperatures right now are cooling down pretty nicely as we're heading into the evening hours here. We're in the 50s to 70s. It's 66 for Bismarck and it's 72 in Bowman still. And if we go ahead and take a look at our winds, we're currently sitting anywhere from about 5 to let's go 15 miles an hour here, predominantly out of the east as we do have a low pressure system sitting off to the west. And if we go ahead and take a look at our surface map, as you can see, we do have those couple of low pressure systems off to our west as well as a cold front off to our south. And if we go ahead and zoom on into North Dakota here, the showers and storms that we were seeing in the northeast as well as the southeast are starting to dissipate now, but we're starting to see some thunderstorms starting to develop in the central portion. So if we go ahead and zoom in on that, you might be hearing a few rumbles of thunder in Washburn and Turtle Lake right now, but we're not expecting these storms to become severe if we go out and take a look at our severe weather threat. We do just have that non-severe threat to the northwest corner as well as down to the southeast here. So like I said, none of these showers and storms that we're going to see tonight are likely to be severe. And if we go ahead and roll precision cast as we head throughout the night, we're going to be seeing those scattered showers and thunderstorms. But as we head into tomorrow, that's when we're going to be seeing that widespread rain. And this does have the potential to become severe now. That's really going to depend on when it starts to develop. If it starts to develop, the storms start to develop in the morning. They're not likely to be severe, but if they start to develop in the afternoon, evening hours, when we see that warmer temperatures, that it might be severe. That's most likely in the east. But as we head into Thursday night, it's going to be mostly in the east of the rain. And as we head into Friday morning, going to be seeing those dry skies out there. And then as we head into Friday evening, seeing some rain off in the east once again. But Saturday morning's looking to be another dry one out there. Saturday might be seeing just a few pop-up showers, but for the most part, we should be staying dry. So here's a look at our severe potential for tomorrow. We do have that not severe threat in the green, and then we do have a slight risk in the yellow off in that southeast corner, and then a marginal risk as well. So like I said, it's really going to depend when they start to develop. So just make sure that you're sticking with the KX Storm Team team, because we will keep you updated on that. And then taking a look at our wind gust forecast, seeing winds up to 15, almost 30 miles an hour tonight. As we head into Thursday, you're going to be seeing those winds in the west about 20, 30 miles an hour out there. And then Friday, we're going to be seeing those wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour as we have a low pressure system off to our east. And then your Dickinson five day forecast here. We do have that 30% chance of showers tomorrow. It's going to be windy Friday and Saturday with that low pressure system that I just mentioned. Wilson's five-day forecast likely to be rainy tomorrow and then Friday is going to be windy out there and a little bit of chance of rain as well. Your Minot seven-day forecast going to be a rainy one out there tomorrow. Friday might be as well and it's going to be windy Friday and Saturday once again and we might be seeing those rain showers on Sunday. Your Bismarck seven-day forecast might be a bit of rain tomorrow but Friday and Saturday are looking to be a lot nicer. We're going to be seeing a lot of sun but it is going to be pretty windy out there. I might need to keep I might need to keep my umbrella with me. Yep, might be. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. Well, sounds like it will be a good start to the weekend. Coming up next in sports, they were a winner.